Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hopefully you are spending the day with loved ones and won't even be seeing this until tomorrow, which is why I thought we would make a really fun recipe using all of those delicious leftovers in a really fun way. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome back to the Organics Channel, where we are passionate about living a happy, healthy, and nourishing life through really good nutrition and supplements. Today, we're going to be making a leftover stuffed acorn squash. Let's begin today by cutting the acorn squash in half. Either way you cut it is fine. I'm going to cut it so that the edges will look really festive. So really take your time and use a sharp knife to do this. I had to move my camera out of the way so that I could use my body weight to really help me get the knife all the way through. Now we're ready to scoop out the seeds and the stringy insides. Place your squash onto a parchment lined baking sheet and then coat the inside and top of the squash halves with one tablespoon of either olive or avocado oil. Sprinkle with one quarter of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, and then roast in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 45 to 60 minutes or until a fork is easily inserted into the squash. While your squash is roasting, let's prepare the filling. To a heated skillet, add in two tablespoons of vegetable or chicken broth. Now this is where you get to be really creative. A basic formula is to add about one to two cups of a roasted vegetable. I'm using cauliflower and cranberries from last week's recipe. One to two cups of protein like turkey, chicken, sausage. I'm adding in curry chicken. And last one half to one cup of rice or potatoes. Stir and heat up your filling, adding in any additional spices as needed and then go ahead and set it aside. When your squash is done roasting, let's spoon in that delicious filling, and if you'd like, top it with some Parmesan cheese. Now we're going to stick the squash back into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until your cheese is nice and melty or the filling is hot. Look at this delicious stuffed acorn squash. I cannot wait to give it a taste. Now, of course, everyone's going to have different fillings, so what mine tastes like might not be what yours tastes like. Oh, this is so good. I'm loving the buttery flavor and consistency of the squash. It's such a beautiful presentation, too. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. The hardest thing is just getting the acorn squash cut in half. But some optional add-ins that I think would add a lot of flavor are some cranberries, some chopped up apples, maybe some pumpkin seeds to add a little bit of crunch, or your favorite chopped up nuts. All, oh my goodness, these flavors are so good and you can get so creative. Definitely, definitely give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. From our family to yours, here's wishing you a happy and healthy Thanksgiving. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.